Hi everybody, so we're back and um, today I am going to show you two-step stamping with a two-step stamp set but also two-step stamping with a set that is not two-step stamp set. Yes, <laughs> so it's a little confusing but I'm going to show you a technique that gives you that two-step look um, even if it's not a two-step stamping set. And so Stampin' Up! is known for their two-step stamping sets. Um, it's a really fast and easy way to create a look that um, looks like you spent a lot of time on it and all you did was stamp a couple stamps and that's it. And so um, I have discovered a way to create that same look with stamp sets that don't have the two steps. And so you can see this stamp here, how it has a darker image and then a lined image. And so the basically two-step stamping is you stamp uh, one stamp and then stamp the other one on top of it to create that filled in look. And so I'm going to show you how to do that same thing with a set that doesn't have uh, the two-step um, process in it. And so, um, you know, we start our Bible journaling with a heart. And so the first thing we're going to do is pray. And so if you'll join me right now, I'm going to go ahead and pray. Father God, thank you so very much for this opportunity to be in your word in a creative way. Thank you, Lord, for um, speaking to us in so many different ways, Father, for um, just the many ways we can study your word. Thank you that it's alive and it's living and true and and. Um, it's good for everything that we could ever imagine. Thank you so very much. And thank you, Father, for this time in our fiscal year where we have just celebrated uh, the resurrection of your son, Jesus. Thank you for um, bridging that gap, Jesus, and making a way for us to be with our Father again. And so I pray that each and every heart that tunes in to this Bible journaling session will um, not just enjoy the creativity that um, I'm sharing, Father, but uh, your word. And I pray that it will just really reach down deep into their hearts and um, help them to be a better witness for you. And I ask all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. So I have a page protector here that's going to protect my page. And I am going to start off with some gesso. Now, I have uh, told people before that, oh, wait, this is, this is my heavy gesso. I will be right back. Hold on just a second. I'm back. <laughs> okay, a little lesson in the gesso here, um, or gesso, however you want to say it. Um, I gesso, you could say gesso. <laughs> um, okay, so I like to use the clear gesso, and I, I like to use the heavy gesso um, on things that I'm doing for canvas work or um, greeting cards because uh, it is pretty thick and grainy and so a lot of people have said they don't care for that in their Bible. Sometimes I use it but most of the time I prefer the um, the clear gesso because uh, it makes a nice smooth um, surface on your Bible page. Now I have told you before in my Bible journaling live sessions that um, I don't always use this. So um, I just personally don't mind if something bleeds through and I have found that when I do use the gesso that um, sometimes it still bleeds through or sometimes things will smear. And so um, I just don't use it. I'm okay with however the page turns out without it. But for this, I am going to be using stamp um, ink pads. And so with the ink pads, with colored ink, this is a water-based ink, and so it does go right through the page. Um, and so it, it'll appear just like it is on one side as it is on the other. And so I do like to use the gesso on the opposite side of the page that I'm going to be stamping. And so I'm going to do that really quick right now, and I will have to um, heat it so that it... Uh, will dry quickly so bear with me for just a few minutes um, I am only gonna go on the uh, journaling area though I'm not gonna go on the whole page because I'm not gonna stamp the whole page I'm only gonna stamp the journaling area and that's just gonna take me really quick moment here I, I do want to tell you that um, even though I can't see my phone right now so I can't see the the um, 
comments. Please feel free to ask any comments or ask any questions that you may have um, about this technique or about Bible journaling or about any products that I use. Um, as you know, I've told you before, I'm not here to sell anything to you, but my business is uh, with Stampin' Up! And so if you see something that you like or want to look into and it's a Stampin' Up! product, um, you can visit my website, which is... Um, always stampin with kelly dot stampin up dot net okay so I've got that done and I'm just gonna put my brush in some water because I don't have time to rinse it out right now I'm gonna dry this a little bit Now this is a heat tool, not a hair dryer. The heat tool blows heat, um, and a hair dryer actually blows air. So the heat is gonna dry your page a lot quicker um, and more efficiently than a hair dryer. Okay, and I think that's probably good enough. It sure is. Okay, and so I'm gonna, I want to um, stamp on the opposite page. Okay, I'm going to protect the rest of my Bible though, and I'm going to bring in some fun colors that would look cute with um, this particular stamp set. And so let's see here, we're going to go with a peach color um, for this, um, the, the peach, oh no, the peach, yeah, right here. Um, we're going to do that one first. So this is a block. These are called acrylic stamps for those of you that are not familiar with stamping. And I'm just going to put this. And I don't know if you can see that. I'm going straight down, straight up. Whenever you're rubber stamping um, or acrylic stamping, you do not want to um, rock your stamp and pick up any of the edges of your block. Okay, so I'm just going to put this here. And I'm going to put one right there. Ah, see? That's what I'm talking about. See how I picked up the edge there of my, my block? I'm okay with that, though. Um, because I will go back and fix that. And I'll show you how in just a minute. All right. Now I'm going to go in and get the outline image of that little peachy stamp. And that's this one. And this is what's going to create our two-step two step stamping. Um, and now I'm going to go into a darker color um, that will coordinate with that peach color. And um, this one's just sort of like a rust color. It's called Cajun Craze. Cajun Craze, yes. Um, and then I'm just going to ink that up and put it right on top of that. Just like that. Okay. And then we need a top for our peach, right? And so we're gonna go with this little flowery image right there. Yep, let me get the solid stamp first. And then I'm going to go in a color called Pear Pizzazz. And I'm just going to put it at the top of the peach, kind of right there. And right there. All right, and then um, the outline for that little topper. I'm going to go in a darker green color. And so basically that's two-step stamping. So you want to go into the lighter color for the bolder image and a darker color for the outlined image. And then it looks like you spent a lot of time actually um, water coloring or coloring it in. And all you did was a couple, couple stamps. That's it. All right?
Now, um, let me show you how to get that same technique with a stamp set that is not two-step stamping, and then we will come back to this page in just a minute. Let me show you the back side of it. Um, so you can see, uh, I don't know if you can see that on the camera or not, um, but you can see where uh, it did come through even though I used the guess so a little bit. Um, it does help, and if I had put maybe a couple more layers on it probably would have helped even more um, to, to not bleed through. Okay, so I'm just going to turn a few more pages back uh, because our preacher talked a lot about John 20 this week, this past Sunday, or actually it was Easter Sunday. Um, and so I really want to work on these pages and Bible journal my notes. Uh, so this is where I'm going to use this stamp set that um, is not a two-step um, stamp set. All right, so I'm going to do the butterflies. And I love that these particular butterflies, um, if you are interested in this stamp set with the fruit, it's called Fresh Fruit. You can purchase that on my website. Um, that's always stampin' with kelly.stampin'up.net. Um, and then this stamp set here is called Butterfly Basics. So I love how the butterflies have images on them. Um, which is going to be great because when I stamp them, then it's really going to look like I have done a lot of work to them. And again, it's just stamping. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do to create that two-step stamp look is, and I am not going to guess uh, the other side of my page. I'm quite okay if this bleeds through because the butterfly... I want it to address uh, chapter 20 of John, and so that's going to be the front and the back of that, so I'm okay if it bleeds through. All right, and so I am going to take a uh, pale pink color. Let's go with um, the uh, flirty flamingo. No, I don't want that one. Um, I'm going to go with it. I'm going to go with the pink pirouette, which is really, really pink. And then um, what I'm going to do with this image is I'm going to turn it upside down and put that on my block. Okay, so this is the way I would normally stamp it, like that, stamp. I don't want to do it like that. I want to turn the image upside down and put it on my block that way. Okay, and then I'm going to open up my ink and get some ink on my upside down stamp. And I'm just going to stamp it here. And Ah, that's making a lot of noise, isn't it? <laughs> All right, so it's really pale. I'm not sure if you can see that. It's really pale. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean the back side of my image. I'm going to clean that off, turn it over, and now I'm going to stamp the opposite side. And this time, I'm going to stamp that with a purpley color. So I'm going to get that pinkish color that comes in behind it, and I'm going to get the purpley color that goes on the top of it. Just like that. And so I've created my own two-step stamping by turning the image over and using the back side of it. All right, so now I'm going to come back to this page here that we just did. And I want to talk about um, John 15, 8. All right, so, hello, it's me. Um, and John 15, 8 um, says that um, this is to the glory of God um, that you would bear much fruit. Um, not too long ago, just a few um, weeks, a couple weeks ago, somebody asked me how I pick my verses. And there's a whole, there's a whole lesson I could teach with that. <laughs> but for this particular lesson, this is one of the ways that I actually pick my verses. Um, and that is um, my stamp sets. So sometimes the stamp sets will inspire me. And I'll just, um, you know, I will search the scriptures for a stamp um, um, a scripture that kind of coordinates with it or makes me think of that scripture. Um, maybe it's one that I don't have memorized completely, but um, for example, the stamp set with the butterflies, the, the fields and things, I mean, that makes me think of, or, well, let me show you real quick. Um, so this image here 
and the flowers and the butterflies. Um, those images make me think of Psalm 23. And so I might use that stamp set on that particular page with Psalm 23. Now tonight, I wanted to show you the two-step stamping technique. And so I picked that one, uh, that stamp set, the um, fresh fruit, because um, the fruit. And so I tried to pick a scripture that um, talks about bearing fruit. And so that's sometimes how I pick my scriptures. Sometimes the tools that I use will inspire me to search the scriptures or search my own memory and remember a particular verse that I want to Bible journal. Yeah, and so this one is um, John 15, 8, uh, where um, in the King James Version, it actually says, Herein is my, father's, my Father glorified, that you bear much fruit, so shall ye be my disciples. And so if we want others to know um, who our Father is, then we have to do things that actually bear fruit. And so we have to plant seeds, we have to water seeds. And a lot of times um, that means that we testify. And remember last week when I testified in the truck <laughs> on our way home from vacation? Yeah, so um, sometimes it means putting yourself in those bumpy situations, <laughs> like being in a truck where the um, the uh, cell um, was not always available or the internet was not always available. And um, you still testify, you still do it, and, and you bear fruit. And so I pray that you will um, enjoy this particular technique and try it in your own Bible with some stamps that you have. And if you don't have any stamps and you live in my area, you are more than welcome to come Bible journal with me and hang out and you can use my stamps. Um, if you have any prayer requests, please feel free to put them in the comments or private message me. I would love to pray for you. And um, if you would like to pray for me, I have graduation coming up soon and my baby is graduating. Yeah. And so I can appreciate those prayers. <laughs> and so thanks for joining me tonight, everybody. I will see you next Monday, same time, same place. Bye.